Hi, I'm Nixon from Zip Scanners. Today I'm going to show you how we connect the USB from the scanner to the computer. Let's go ahead and find that mini USB port. Let's connect it and find your USB port on your computer. Mine is right here. Once that's in, um, I've already opened up the TRX1 software. You can go ahead and do the same if you ever if you already haven't. And once it's connected, we'll go ahead and find the updates tab right here on the top. And you'll see these four uh, updates that you can do individually. Uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and check for all updates. Uh, this just kind of makes sure it checks for everything all at once. Um, and as you can see, my status current because uh, I already did an update, uh, but your TRX-1 uh, probably won't if, once you get it out the box. So you will see it saying available. Um, make sure those are all checked so we can do the, the update. And you're gonna click OK. Yours will probably run through uh, and, up, and begin updating everything. It'll take a little bit, um, so just be patient and click OK as it uh, finishes one update and moves on to the next. Uh, again, this is necessary um, in order to keep your scanner up to date as Whistler releases updates. Um, and this is all just to make it your, your, your scanner run smoothly. So I highly recommend doing this uh, every other week or every other month uh, just to check. Um, all right. So if you have any other questions, uh, feel free to email me at nixon at zipscanners.com. I'm here to help. Thanks a lot.